Barton Pereira are undeniably one of the world's greatest ever frame brands. So much so that the Herald actually won our Frame of the Year in 2022's Eyewear Awards. But how do they rank in 2023? Well, today we're going to find out. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And for those who like quiet luxury, which is, I know, a term that's banded around a lot at the moment, Bart and Pereira are the epitome of that. Classic styles, beautifully made, exquisitely finished. That is what Bart and Pereira stand for. But before we get into Bart and Pereira, I've got something very exciting to share with you. As you'll know if you've been following this channel, I get incredibly excited, enthusiastic about all of the frames that we cover on this channel. If I wasn't excited about them, I wouldn't be showcasing them for you. But that can make it difficult sometimes to differentiate between them in terms of the level of quality that we're discussing. So I've created a new ranking system where we're going to rate every frame brand based on five criteria. And those are style, originality, craftsmanship, durability, and comfort. And the cumulative score will be an average of those five values. And it's gonna be really interesting to see how different frame brands compare with each other based on that ranking system. So if you are interested in finding that out, make sure to subscribe. And at the end of this video, we're going to be giving Barton Pereira the first ever ranking on this channel. But before we can do that, let's review these new pieces for 2023. Let's start with the Ebbets. Of all the glasses that I've seen Barton Pereira produce in recent times, this one stood out to me the most. Lots of luxury eyewear frames will have a detail that makes them beautiful, that makes them unique and interesting. But it's rare that with one frame, every single detail catches the eye in that way. But that is how I would describe the Ebbets. It's incredible from every angle, and no matter which part of the frame your eyes gaze upon, it's simply stunning. So where should I even start? Well, the Ebbets is a classic shield-shaped frame. That means we've got the squared off top and the rounded bottom. And whilst this is a classic gold frame, that so much does not do it justice, because not only do we have the gold metal work, but we also have an enamel layer around the lens rim and on the bridge. And there are a few incredible colorways in the Ebbets. They all feature that enamel finishing. It's an exquisite touch that just gives these glasses extra character, extra style, and gives a little bit more of a framing of the eyes as well. It stops the gold being too pale, which it can be for a lot of people with particularly lighter skin tones. But then you turn to the side, and that's when you see this incredible new hinge design. It's certainly more aesthetic than it is functional, but there is an element of functionality as well because the gap through which the pure titanium wire temple protrudes allows it to flex and bend. And that gives these frames that room to move. Obviously the titanium would naturally flex anyway, but it gives that extra little bit of leeway around the lug. These lug areas where the front meets the side are always a weak point with frames. So this, to some extent, counteracts that and mitigates it. And speaking of the pure titanium temples, I mean, just look how well sculpted and finished that is. A solid wire titanium that ends in this almost solid block of material and has that unmistakable luxury feel of a handmade Japanese titanium frame. Then we have filigree detail, which is applied just to the very small section of metal that's exposed beyond the enamel, but not done around the lens rim. And that creates a lovely contrast between the two finishes where you have the polished metal and then the less glossy pitted section. And to finish it all off, the classic Barton Pereira filigree detail that you see on the look design. We're gonna see that with a couple more of the models that I'm gonna show you later on. So overall, what a start to the video. One of the best titanium frames I have literally ever seen. The Ebbets is stunning. And whilst that is definitely a unisex style, the next one is way more on the feminine end of the spectrum. But well, arguably, this is the most impressive. It's certainly the most comfortable. This is the Barda, and it probably looks okay on me because it's not overly feminine, but I would say this is definitely more of a lady's style. Again, the details in this frame are just out of this world. Now we have a beveled top rim, and that is probably the highlight of the Barda. But what a highlight it is, because as the frames catch the light, that top section just glistens. And in some lighting, it actually looks white, so that contrasts really well against the all black acetate. Again, this comes in some amazing colorways. There's a green color that is just delicious, but you would have to be the right person with the right kind of personality for that frame. If you're a lady who is looking for color that is just a little bit more unique, I would recommend the green colorway. For a more classic look, which is more in keeping with Barton Pereira, the black is the way to go. But let me just say that this frame in terms of comfort is as good as it gets. 
Again, we have titanium temples. Again, they are sculpted. This time, unlike the Ebbets, they actually have detailing on the inside and that creates a little bit of friction, just the tiniest amount of friction with the skin that helps to keep them in place. But can we just take a minute to appreciate how well formed this temple is? Because a third of the way down, we have a black acetate and for the rest of the two thirds, we have this gold titanium and they meet. I won't say it's seamless because up close, you can kind of see the split, but you have to be really close to see that. From a distance, it is completely seamless. And that type of craftsmanship is incredibly difficult to achieve. To get two materials that are completely different to each other meeting in such a way. Not even with a rounded temple either, because this is actually beveled, so it's got facets to it. And the facets on the titanium meet the facets on the acetate. Incredible levels of craftsmanship, some of the best I have ever seen. And we'll see how that reflects in their score later on but the Bada is an incredible ladies frame for 2023. A very classic style, I would say almost vintage, is the Elvgren. Not sure where they got that name from. It's an interesting name. I kind of keep wanting to say evergreen, but it's Elvgren. Let me know if you know what that is a reference to. But this one features the most amount of filigree detail across the five pieces that I've got to show you today. Because we have it on the temples, we have it on the top of the bridge, which is really nice if you have anybody looking down on you. And that all combines to make these frames look as handmade as they are. Barton Pereira glasses are all handmade in Japan in one of the world's best eyewear factories. And those artisans are true craftsmen. I've specifically chosen models that showcase that to its fullest extent because Barton Pereira do make pure acetate frames as well, but it's the pure titanium or the titanium and acetate combinations that really are the top tier in Barton Pereira. But with the Elvgren, we have this contrast between the silver titanium temples and bridge and the grade titanium front. And I think that is a really nice contrast that gives a little bit of excitement to what otherwise might be a slightly dull style because the shape itself is a little bit ordinary, but I guess in that sense, it's also vintage as I mentioned at the start as well. It's very cool and the only disappointment with this model and the Donnelly that I'm about to get to is that we do have acetate temple tips. That makes them more easily adjustable, I will say that, and it can be more sculpted to the shape of your ear. I just find that with those pure titanium temples, they don't really need to be adjusted. They just fit in place so effortlessly and I think it improves the balance of the frames. But these are certainly not bad. They're certainly not uncomfortable and they're certainly not poorly balanced. They're just not quite as good as the first two. And then finally, as mentioned, we have the Donnelly, which of the five that I've got to show you today has, in my opinion, the most unique and best colorway. This they call Cabernet and it is very reminiscent of a wine glass. I love the colour of this frame. I think that's what it's all about. The shape is classic. It's cool. I'm into my round glasses. I think it's a very cool look, but the colour is what makes it exceptional. This frame just catches the light, as all Barton Prairie acetates do beautifully, but as the frame catches the light, you get different colours from different angles, providing an almost iridescent finish. And again, of course, we've got that filigree detail on the temples just for the finishing touch. I like how the Donnelly is kind of oversized for a round frame. I'm often saying that round frames should be worn smaller than the face, as per the Ebbets. But that's not a hard and fixed rule. It's not to say that you can't occasionally break out of that mold. If you want glasses that are just that little bit different, the Donnelly is that, in particular in this colorway. It does come in other colorways as well. But I think if you're gonna get this frame, you must seriously consider this because that is what makes it as special as it is. And I would say that the particular shade of red that you see in this frame is remarkably wearable. It's not like a bright red that's gonna be clashing with different colors. Perhaps it doesn't quite match to my outfit today, but it is still quite versatile. And finally, to round off the 2023 Barton Pereira collection, I have a special treat for you because this is the latest and last 007 collaboration from Barton Pereira called the Royale. And you could argue that they saved the best to last because the Royale, whilst classic, is still exceptionally well-made. And it's that quality that sets Barton Pereira as one of the best quiet luxury brands. The matte black colorway for me is the one to get, although you can't go wrong with any of the colorways in this frame. And I think there are five in total. For those who don't know, the 007 collaboration came about when Barton Pereira were approached by the James Bond studio to dress Daniel Craig in the last Bond film, No Time to Die which is his last film as Bond as well. But on the back of the success of the movie and the collaboration itself, Barton Pereira then set about reissuing classic designs from older Bond movies with their own twist, of course. And the Royale is going to be the last in that series. So this is obviously inspired by the sunglasses from Casino Royale, which was a very dark and gritty Bond movie as Bond films go. 
And it was Daniel Craig's first, actually, so that's a nice completeness to the story. But stylistically, I just love how the matte black colorway allows the gold detailing to really shine on this model. Understated, yet cool. And I guess that's the perfect summary for what Barton Pereira are about. So having said all that, how do Barton Pereira rank in our new eyewear scale? Well, let's start with styling. And I guess this is always going to be the most subjective element. But stylistically, I think Barton Pereira, whilst cool, are not special. The cool factor comes from the fact that they are so beautifully made and well-crafted, not necessarily from them being daring or particularly fashionable. But in a way, again, that is cool as well because they are classic designs that will never age. So on balance, I'm gonna go with a six out of 10 on styling. When it comes to originality, I guess the same applies. Barton Pereira haven't really revolutionized anything in the eyewear industry. But one thing that I will give them a lot of credit for is taking this classic aesthetic that you have seen from other brands, such as Moscar, Oliver Peoples, Garrett Light, and taking it up a notch and another notch and continuing to strive for perfection. That is quite original because lots of brands are kind of happy to live around that middle ground. But Barton Pereira just way outshine those brands when it comes to quality. And that for me is quite original, taking classic designs but making them to the highest level of quality. So again, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. Next up, we've got craftsmanship. And the craftsmanship of Barton Pereira is undeniable. Some of the very best in the world. Are they the very best in the world? Well, I think there are a few brands out there that just add a little bit extra in, when it comes to craftsmanship. For example, Jacques Marie Marge, you could argue maybe Oconi, perhaps Luca de Stael are just that extra little bit more refined. There's just a little bit more that goes into the manufacturing of them. So with that in mind, I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. Next up, you've got comfort and Barton Pereira are some of the most comfortable glasses in the world as well. Some of these pieces are just incredibly, insanely comfortable. Maybe not quite as lightweight as, for example, Reykjavik eyes. I would say these are the most comfortable glasses in the world, but pretty close. So I'm going to give Barton Pereira a nine out of 10 for comfort. And that, to be honest, applies across the whole range. You will not find an uncomfortable Barton Pereira frame. Of course, some are better than others, the titanium pieces being the best, but even the lightweight acetates like the Norton are exceptionally comfortable. And finally, we have durability. Now, if you were to step on a pair of Barton Pereira glasses, I wouldn't be confident that they would not break. So they're not kind of indestructible. But aside from genuine abuse of your frames, they're gonna stand up really well. These frames are built to last. The quality of the materials and the composition of them is second to none, honestly. So if you look after them, you can keep a Barton Pereira as much as 10 years, perhaps more. And there aren't many glasses in the world where you can say that. But like I said, they're not going to stand up too much to a lot of punishment. You know, if you are someone who regularly takes your glasses off with one hand, like so, that's gonna stretch them. It won't with Reykjavik eyes for comparison. But with the Barton Pereira, it will. Their hinges are good and well-made, but by no means the best that I've seen. And yeah, they're good glasses for people who respect their eyewear, that's what I would say. So with that being said, I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10 when it comes to durability. And that gives an average score of 7.6. I'm curious to know if you would rate Barton Pereira higher than that. Personally, I would have expected them to maybe have a higher score, but remember, this is the first time we're rating a brand on this channel. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how that compares against other brands. And if you're fascinated to see it as well, make sure to subscribe because in the upcoming weeks and months, we're gonna be rating a lot of amazing eyewear brands on this channel. And I'd love you to be along for the journey. But if you found this video interesting or helpful, please give us a like and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.